broadly speaking, there are three different options that you have as you think about colleges and universities. The ones that we just covered, the Ivy Leagues, Stanford, and similar colleges, that's one group. There, within that, you will have two tiers. Stanford and Ivy Leagues are the topmost tier, the most difficult to get into. And then a second and a third tier, think of Santa Clara University, which is right here in the Bay Area. They would be somewhat of a tier two or three or tier three. But in Southern California, there are some small colleges like, like Claremont, uh, Claremont McKenna or Pomona College, or on the East Coast, there is Amherst. There are these really small colleges, beautiful colleges, really small campus size. These are all in this group. Then there are the public universities, which are funded by the taxpayers. So the University of California, that all of you, my guests, would know about. Out of state public universities like University of Michigan at Ann Arbor or um, University of Washington in Seattle, these are generally quite popular for California students. And then our own. California State University system, example, San Jose State University, and there are 23 campuses in that system. Public universities are also of two kinds. The top ranked ones like UCs or University of Texas, University of Michigan, University of Washington, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, and there is a second tier, say the California State Universities or similar systems in other states. And then there is always this community college option you study there for two years and then you transfer. Is it always a bad option? No, I think for some students, it's actually an excellent option. And if you think about UC admissions, it is a fact that you're, it's less competitive to transfer from a community college to a UC.